Welcome to Carrier Pay Exporting. To export your Carrier Pay to your QuickBooks, you will need to first go into Accounting, Carrier Pay Manager. Within the Carrier Pay Manager, select Run Report. At this point, only invoices that have been received will be exported. So to receive an invoice, do not forget that you need to go into the Carrier Pay Manager, select Receive Now for the invoice that you have received from your carrier, confirm the amount, confirm the load number and date, and save. At that point now, these two orders here, 7064 and 70763, can be exported and imported into your QuickBooks. To proceed with the export, then go to back to your dispatch board, go to accounting, carrier pay export. If this is your first export, you'll need to go to Settings. Confirm that the Accounts Payable is set up correctly. Please make sure that the first line has Accounts Payable in it, spelled correctly, and spaced correctly. If it is not set up correctly, it will not import. The second line will represent the expense account that you want the information to show under within your QuickBooks. If you do have an existing expense account within your QuickBooks, you can name ITS Dispatch the exact same. If not, once you've named an account within ITS Dispatch, then proceed over to your QuickBooks and set up the account there as well. Below that, you will find your basic advances. I do suggest that you leave this box unchecked, but the option is yours. If you leave it unchecked, the what will happen when you give your carrier an advance, it will show up as two separate transactions within your QuickBooks one for the original amount agreed to and then a second amount for the amount given in as an advance if you do put a check mark in this box what will happen only repeat only the balance only owing will be transferred over to your quickbooks so once you've done all your settings then proceed to export and select the export button in the lower right hand corner that time a pop-up will let you know about making sure that you have a quick backup of your quickbooks say okay the summary of your export will come up you'll have the two loads with the load number invoice date customer name carrier name carrier fees advances and totals I do suggest that you print a copy of this so that you can confirm the information once it goes into your quickbooks you will also notice at the bottom I have a pop-up concerning this transaction and I need to save this file to my computer. You can choose where you wish to save it. In my case, I'm saving it directly to my desktop. Once I've saved the information, I can close this screen and close my carrier export. I will then go over to my QuickBooks. Since this is my first import, I will go into my lists, down to my chart of accounts, and confirm first my accounts payable is set up correctly and then I will also make sure that the expense account that I've set up within ITS Dispatch exists within QuickBooks. Once those two things are done, I will then go to File, Utilities, Imports, IIF Files, and then I will look on my desktop for the computer file that I just saved. Once I find the file, I double click on it, and the next notification I should receive from my QuickBooks is your data has been imported. If you receive any error messages, please let us know and we'd be more than happy to help you. Once the information is in your QuickBooks, to check it, you can simply go to your vendor section and look for your carrier's name and then confirm the rates are correct. Or if you wish, you can simply do a find based on the invoice numbers. Okay. That is the process of exporting your carrier payables from ITS Dispatch to your QuickBooks. Thank you.